Longley Club into the third round of the FA Cup. Football is just everything, like it just gives you a little release, doesn't it, from all the problems in your life. The kid who works in his mother's news agent has just written his name across the back pages. I'm Jarrett Rivers, and in the FA Cup, I did this. Jarrett Rivers here has got away from Jones, who made the mistake. Rivers for Blythe, can he win it here? Rivers, he can! Jarrett Rivers for Blythe Spartans! My mum's paper shop, I was working um, five days a week, but I was only doing three hours a day, basically just working behind the counter, stacking the shelves when you meet to the bee, sorting people's newspapers out. A lot of my customers actually followed like my league games as well, so they come in regularly and ask us about that. But the way I am, I don't really like reading stuff about myself. I just kind of like, once it's happened, I just want to focus on the next game. But when I scored the goal in the FA Cup, I was getting customers like I, I didn't know coming in and like recognising me. But no, I, I didn't look at any of the papers really. Instinct just took over. It was the only opportunity I had to run at my defender. I just tried to do a little step over, get a yard of space, and obviously shoot through the defender's legs. Take that one in the 90th minute. I can't really describe the moment itself, but I remember just going to have an interview uh, with Dan Walker. I just couldn't get my words out at all, my head was all over the place. Do you remember what Alan Shearer said before the game in your dressing room? <laughs> you know, he said one of us is going to be a hero, and he, he told us that has to be in one of the, this dressing room here. I'm his dad, and I didn't understand what he was saying. <laughs> <laughs> Dad's claim, 1 2 1, so. I haven't, I haven't even taken in yet, so... Yeah, I got some stick for that bonus. I was getting battered <laughs> on Twitter, like, after that for days. Like, <laughs> like a big mushroom head. <laughs> oh, it was an unbelievable feeling. Like, since I've been released from Middlesbrough, I worked so hard, and then um, finally have that moment to sign a pro contract just was one of the best feelings in my life. And um, unfortunately, it didn't work out for us there, but I still haven't given up. I signed back with Blythe and I'm, I'm enjoying my football there now. I've just got to believe, like, I don't think the gap between non-league and league is as big as some people might think and upsets happen every year in the FA Cup. I've just got to believe and work hard and we've got every chance.